Did the tooth fairy come last night? Mm -hmm. She did? Yeah. What? Whoa, the Sopranos are distracting to the track team? The guys, I guess. That doesn't happen in elementary school. And you got 100 on your spelling? Yeah, watch this. And you don't know about your math. Oh, yay. Look at small stick of butter. It just looks like a little fatty. It's so <laughs> cute. Um, third period, do, 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 do. Third period. And clap, clap, oh, blah, blah. Can I say those fifth? There's fifth. Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> my brain is moving a lot faster than my mouth is. Yeah, so that's my day today. We're on our way to the ten right? You don't even know. I can make your hands clap. Welcome to Make Your Own Breakfast Friday! Yay. She's found the hash browns. What else are you having? Um, probably eggs. Mm. I, want, I made a good mood, so I want to have a good breakfast. Good job. You're going to fry an egg? Uh -huh. Awesome. And you're eating toast. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our day. In my bed. In my bed. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, we're glad you're over here again. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you like today's video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make the relationship official. And welcome to the day, you guys. We're eating breakfast. I got this face like this because my hands are cold. Mm -hmm. It's like your hands are cold. I was like, I know, that's why I'm touching your face. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling that warm now because they touched Jack. Oh, still cold. He's looking for food, I think. Decided on a breakfast. He's having an egg. Oh, it's perfect. Omelet egg. Did you it's cook it? Egg. Oh, perfect. It's not yolky. Oh, dang it. That's okay. You can still eat it. <sighs> that works too, I guess. <laughs> he stole the yolk. So, little boy, how are you today? Did the tooth fairy come last night? Mm -hmm. She did? Yeah. What? What happened la yesterday morning? Nothing. Nothing. She failed her mission. Last, he lost a tooth, not yesterday, but the day before that, and the tooth fairy did not come. He came in and he said, the tooth fairy didn't come. So we inspected his room and we decided that there was too many Legos on the floor, she couldn't get to him. So we cleaned up his room and she came. And then, oh, okay, so sad day. Last night I was, I, I had a kind of a scary, sad, yucky dream. And so I woke up 
and I had to go check on my kids. And so when I was checking on Jack, he woke up on accident. And it startled me because his eyes were like, bing. <laughs> I'm like, oh dang, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I had to go check on him, make sure he was safe. And then I check on the girls, make sure they were safe. And they were all accounted for and happy. And it took me like an hour to fall back to sleep again. She petted me. I did, I petted him. I petted his face and his head. And I said, I love you. I'm so glad you're okay. <laughs> she also wrote that. Uh, I did. And then she left to the girls' bedroom. And then she got back, went in my room and said, I had a bad dream. I had to come check on you and check on the girls. Yeah. I love you. And I'm like, I love you too. And then I fell back asleep and she went back in her room. Yep. The, the crazy thing is, is I can't even remember what the dream was. <laughs> What I guess is a good thing because I, it seriously woke me up and I had to go check on my kids. It was, it was not a good, but I accidentally woke him up. Sorry. <laughs> were you checking to see if the tooth fairy came? No, I was checking to see if you were still here I felt something and alive. I, was like, oh. I put my hand on your pillow. Like, I think that's what woke you up mm -hmm. is I went, I put my hand kind of by your head. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to like wake you up, but I guess it was enough movement that it woke you up. And it startled me because you're like, bing. So anyway, these kids, no, it was scary though. I'm going to show you guys my picture that I finished, finally. All taped up. Yep, I finished it. Finally. Now I have to take it to my school. You're leaving. You're leaving. Okay, bye bye. I love you. You look super cute today. Thank you. Good luck on your spelling test. Okay. Love you. There's one more in here. Dirt, 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 dirt. See, I told you one more. He's made his lunch. He's off to school. Miley just texted me and said that she forgot a book for her English class. So I actually need to grab it and run it down to her. Hey, Mama. Yo. How do you feel about um, my floating bed being um, darkish gray? Sure. With I... green circles? Circles? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to see a picture of it. Him and his dad have been talking about how to do his room kind of better. Kind of like Miley's bedding was. Mm -hmm. Like it was like circles filled in and then it was just rings and circles and circles. Let me take this to the school. You off? I think it's off. Alright, go grab some sockies. I need to put some shoes on my feet. I'm going... It's kind of cold outside. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Okay. hands of the ladies at the front desk and they'll get it to Miley hopefully before her English class is over. Now it's back home to make sure the kids got on the bus. <laughs> well I passed the bus as I was coming home and there's a group of moms at the bus stop but no kids. So <laughs> my kids got on the bus okay and they're off to school. So I want to make a peach pie today. I've never made a peach pie and I've got peaches left over that I didn't bottle or freeze and I want to make a peach pie today. So that's on the agenda after the temple is peach pie. I've never made it for a little nervous, but I'm excited. I'm back and my house was cold, so cold. So I turned the heater on just long enough to take the edge off. 
So I've got my sweatshirt on and I've got my socks on. And my socks, see them? My socks, pants. So I'm dressed warm, but it was like, meh, it's really cold in here. So I'm taking the edge off a little bit and now I'm gonna get some lunch. What to put in this face? I am going to make a sandwich out of, oh, okay, here it is, out of the bread I made the other day. So good, I actually had one of these with Miley and her friend yesterday, super good. So I've got bread and I've got tomatoes. Thanks mom and Greg for the tomatoes. And I've got turkey and mayo and, ooh, a little bit of mayo. But that, you only need a little bit of mayo. Interesting side note while I was making my sandwich. Did you know that you can make mayonnaise at home? It doesn't take a lot of ingredients, but it's ridiculously hard. I tried it one time and it gets to a point where it's just right, but if you beat it too much, it just liquefies and goes Bleh. It was the weirdest thing and it was so frustrating because it took forever because you've got to be slowly mixing it and stuff. And I just got it right and I'm like, I'm gonna mix it a little bit longer and then it just went liquid and I could never get it back. It was insane. But anyway, little side note, you can make mayo. <laughs> it's just really hard. Oh, criminy. Okay, uh, okay, back down. Mustard. Just a little bit now. Birds. Birds. Tomat. Come here guys, we need to have a talk. No, I'm just kidding, I need to cut a tomato. Cutting a tomato. Ready, mark it. Pretty, huh? They're so good. <gasps> Lettuce. You guys all want a sandwich now, don't ya? Yeah, you do, I know you do. <laughs> I need to find a recipe for a peach pie. I've never looked for one. My mom has made them and they're super good, but I don't think I have a recipe for it, so I need to look through my cookbooks and find one. All right, I have found a recipe for peach pie, and I also found one for apple crisp, and we're going somewhere tonight where I need to bring dessert, so I'm going to make apple crisp and peach pie and take them both with some ice cream. Should be good. All right, we're gonna pause this, go get the girls from school, and then we'll continue when I get back. And it'll be a little louder. <laughs> Cause a lot of people here, yay! Okay, so today we just got home and I guess. Before I went to lunch, my friend picked me up from um, my locker and then on our way there, she grabs my arm and just makes me stop walking and I'm like, what is it? And she's like, don't move. And so I actually move and I turned around and she's like, cute boy, right behind you. And I saw um, bloop, bloop. a boy that she likes. And um, then I turned around and she's like, like, oh no. <laughs> and then after school, she came running to me on my way out to carpool. And she's like, he held open the door for me. Crazy. Now my high is fun. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're a seventh grader. Everything's new to you. Ninth grade's kind of boring because you know where everything is. But you know. 
What? Why did you hand me the camera? What am I? What's you're happening? Telling, you're telling them about your day. Well, let's see what happened today. Um, first period, we read books. Second period, what are we doing? Second period, what is my second period? Mm, computer science. We did this thing called Scratch, and it's like a coding game. It's not a game, actually at all. So we have to do our name, and like you gotta like twist your name and stuff. You gotta make it all do all these crazy things. And sorry guys, my nose is super itchy. Ugh. Um, third period, do 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 do. Third period, third period, third period, third period, third period. Seminary, they moved my seat in the seminary building. So now, instead of sitting with all my friends, he changed the seating chart so that, okay, if you have like the room, pretend this is room. All my friends are in a group here in one corner and then I'm over here in one corner, all by myself. She's like, I mean, like, I sit by people I know, but it's not, like, my friend group. But that's okay. Cassie's cool. I sit next to you. You're cool. Um, see, third period. Fourth period, we did absolutely nothing Sorry. but math. Sorry. It's okay. She's getting pants out. Fifth period. Five. Five. Fifth period was biology. And we talked about this satellite called Kepler and how they sent Kepler up into the Earth's atmosphere. And Kepler, Kepler, you know the Goldilocks story, not too hot, not too cold, just right. So there's something called a Goldilocks zone around a star where it's not too hot and it's not too cold so that it can inhabit life. They found one planet around a star, can't remember the name of it, that's far away from our Earth. And it's in the Goldilocks zone, which means it's inhabitable by life. So they just have to make another satellite to send up to see if there could be any bacteria or even DNA on that planet. Whoa. So that's what I learned in biology today. And also a few other things. Like, he said that there was two categories. Everything that's life, biology. Biology, bio is life, and ology is the study of, study of life. And biology and stuff. I could give you a whole spiel of lessons. I mean, I pay attention in that class. You like biology? I like biology. It's fun. But we were thinking like we got really deep. We get really deep stuff in biology because it's like life. And so, yeah, it was cool. So he was like, what if there is possible bacteria that has DNA on another planet? Because in biology, that's where we learn like like we evolved into humans, but that's not part of our religion, but it's on a test, so I have to learn it. <laughs> so we learned about that. So he's like, if there's bacteria with DNA, it could possibly eventually evolve into some kind of form that could think and just like we do, so it's possible. And he's like, there is, and we also learned about Einstein and E equals MC squared, energy equals mass times the hold on wait energy equals mass times the speed of light squared c stands for the speed of light c stands for the speed of light i did not know I it's actually know c actually stands for constant but constant is speed of light because no one can get past it it's like the speed limit of the universe like, no one can get past the speed of light so fast as anything can go, so it's always constant. Light always moves at the same speed. Well, not quite really sure on that one. Don't take my word on that, but I'm pretty sure. So, the that's how fast light moves, and that's what you do to find the energy. But really, we learned that the mass, the mc squared part, not the e, is what matter is. So, energy is the same thing as matter. That's what we learned today. And energy and matter are the two components of things that um, anything living can be put into those two categories. And we turn out that they're the same thing. Holy cow, you learned a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> you really paid attention in biology. I also took a lot of notes too. Cool. Yeah. So well done. There's a biology lesson for y'all. Miley's lesson. This is tiny. It just looks like a little fatty. It's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> Let's see. Could I just say those fifth? There's fifth, blah, blah, blah. there's fifth period. My friend that goes to another school, 
<laughs> my brain is moving a lot faster than my mouth is. In seventh period, I have choir. So there was this girl, one of my best friends from, she was with me in choir my first year of choir, and we were best friends. And so, well, like all the so they're called sopranos, but my choir teacher calls us sops. So he's like, sops, we need to work on this part. We're like, okay. So she was a soprano with me, and it was super fun, my first year of choir. But she moved to a different school last year. So she came, because her school doesn't have school on Fridays. So she comes and hangs out with our choir all day. And I love it. Because I thought I was like never going to see her again. I was like, oh, she moved. <laughs> so sad. But then she's here. <laughs> That's fun. It was awesome. Then I invented a sport in 8th period. And it's soccer and basketball mix in the hoop. It's like, it's like a basketball hoop, triple the size, not even triple, like 10 times the size. And it's like tipped around the side, so you kick it, and it hits a buzzer in the back, and it's crazy. Yeah, so that's my day today. I learned a lot of things. Mom, how do you feel about the biology lesson, and... That was fantastic. I'm actually learning I'm things. I'm glad that you pay, <laughs> I'm glad that you pay attention in school. And then you, when you're at school, you're at school, like in school. I love that. Now I'm I have ready homework. to make a peach pie. And I'm making. And now I have homework. Now you have homework. A lot of it. <gasps> there it is, guys. It's cooking. Ooh! I've never tried a peach pie before. Speaking of peaches, I just found one on the floor. Gross! Learning about the Constitution of the United and States. My leg went like this. It's like it went kind of upper. You almost broke your broke your leg in yeah, PE. Yeah, my leg went kind of upper. Upper? Yeah. Your knee went like, back. It went like that. Ew, gross. Yeah, it went up. And you got a hundred on your spelling. Yeah. Watch this. And you don't know about your math. Oh yay. Okay, don't do that anymore. Ugh, don't do that anymore. Ah. Oh, what a nice brother to share. Aww. Oh, it's all over your face. <laughs> okay, do you remember what you were going to say now? No. Aww, how sweet. Okay, well, raise your hand again when you remember. While he's thinking, <laughs> there's a the peach pie in the oven, and it looks good. He remembered. Yay! So, today Mr. Light got his two fun chairs that we can rent for a day. Yeah. And they're really cool. Oh, cool. And Did you rent one? I asked him how much they were. Yeah. No, I'm renting one on Monday. Oh. I asked, him, I asked him how much they were on Amazon. Yeah. And he was like, I don't know, around $60. And I'm like, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> how, much are they to, how much are they to rent? In your class? Uh, $10. They're $10 to rent for a day? How do you earn money in your class? Uh, good behavior. If you're on time, if you bring your planner, your homework folder, and if you're doing your morning work. Nice. And we have jobs. So how much have you earned so far? $83. $83? Well done, bud. Nice. Hey, high five me. Yay. Peach. Peach pie. Look, you guys. Look at it. <gasps> Look at it. Smell it. It's still bubbling even. Look. I hope people like peach pie. Jack just left to his friend's house, but then he just got home and he's so, he's wet and he's cold. What did you have to do? Go get my crystals. Ooh! He's making crystals in the scouts. Mm -hmm. But he had to walk his scooter home. So he's extra. Cool. Oh. Yeah, you're wet. <laughs> you're wet. Look at my watch. 
Good thing it's waterproof. Yeah, good thing. Oh, your hands are freezing. Oh, Dang cake. it. Cake? Um, I'm gonna make apple crisp. <laughs> He pulled out his crystals and we can't get the camera to focus on it to save my life. Stop. There we got it. Ooh, it looks like Elsa's castle, kind of. Yeah, but look, there's like a perfect cube one right there. Right where? Right there. Oh, that's so, smaller so crystals cool. out of the water or smaller crystals than in the water? Or bigger ones? Bigger crystals. That is so cool, oh my gosh. I don't like that though. That needs to be wiped up before it stains my countertop. Are you fishing? Yeah. Are you fishing for crystals? <laughs> no, I'm dying my crystals. I'm dipping them in my dye. Oh. You put like a teaspoon of dye into it. Wow. That is cool looking. And it's Epsom salt. Epsom salt? Yeah. Let's see it. <laughs> what is awesome? Let's see what's awesome, Miley. I want to show the vlog. What? I want to show the vlog. <laughs> you don't want to show the vlog? <laughs> it's a mosquito bite? Yeah. I want to see it. Show it to me. No. You mean it makes you have cankles? Yeah. You have cankles from a mosquito yeah. bite? Does that mean you've been scratching it? No, I wore my high tops today, <laughs> so it's rubbing against it all day. Let's see it. No. I need to see it. It might need medical attention. No. I need to see the mosquito bite. Mm -hmm. Miley. <laughs> I don't know Look, God. people with cankles are okay. They're great people. Wonderful no, people. I, I know some people with great. cankles and it looks yeah. wonderful. There we it's go. All red and gross. Stop touching it. It's gonna be. It's scratchy. It's so That's not bad. And my nose. Is Don't on. scratch it. Sorry guys. There's music playing on the Miley's computer. She's on. That's not bad. You'll be okay. Just don't wear I'll high stop tops. Over here. Okay. Don't wear. Don't wear high, I wore high tops, tops tonight. I wore high tops today too, and I was right there. That is a mosquito bite for sure. So yep. No high tops for the next and couple this of days. And when I kicked my grandma's sprinkler. For it to go. And it hasn't any, gone away. See I don't this see anything. little blister thing that goes all the way around? Nope. Oh, it's there. You must have Wolverine's powers healed. <laughs> it took three weeks. <laughs> it took three weeks. Well, that's interesting. Anything else interesting happen today for fun? Yes. Um, Pat, my friend, had track, and dudes have to wear tank tops in track, and we choir, we did our choir class in the hallway okay. by the boys' gym, so they walked out and they all went, ooh! <laughs> they <laughs> covered their shoulders. Their shoulders. Were bare. <laughs> it was awesome. It was, it was awesome. really funny. But then my son was waiting to go outside, so we weren't distracting them because the Sopranos were outside. Whoa, the Sopranos are distracting to the track team? The guys, I guess. That doesn't happen in elementary school. Elementary <laughs> 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 school. Junior high? Yeah, it doesn't happen in elementary school. Only in junior high school that the boys are distracting, distracted by the Sopranos. Well, anyway, they went like this, and then Casey was like, guys, don't hide your shoulders, look, they're anywhere. buff. And then they were all flexing. And then Miss So was like, girls, get in here, stop getting distracted. So we came Your back choir in. teacher was like, yeah. stop it. <laughs> yeah. Then they funny. had to go out the bus. That's funny. Mom's making? Uh, a mess. A mess. Apple crisp. Have you been showing these guys making apple crisp? Uh, I've, I've shown them peach pie. Peach pie. Yeah, 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 peach pie. But I haven't shown them the apple crisp yet. Mm -hmm. Is it hot? Ow, it's hot. <laughs> mm. you All right. Don't touch it. I don't want you to. Now you're making crisp. apple crisp to take to the barbecue. Yes, I'm taking that and this, and we'll need to grab some ice cream on our way. Over. Can we just keep the pie? Are they providing meat? I mean, I love people. But... She just said bring a salad and dessert. So okay. Bring a dessert and salad. Okay. That sounds I like fun. Think so. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hello? To a barbecue. Hey, it's raining a bunch. It is raining pretty good. It took me a while to get home. The freeway was really bad, so I went through the fields. Which wasn't bad. But it took me a lot longer. Don't drop the canisters. Everybody loves those. Where's Hallie? At a party. Oh, yeah. It is 5 o'clock. Oh, is it? Nine minutes. Oh. Nine minutes. You have All right. I'll go change my clothes and get ready for the party. Okay. We're on our way to the Tannerites. You don't even know. I can make your hands clap. There's snow on them there mountains over there. Do you see it? And it's September. What the heck? Okay guys, we are on our way home from the barbecue and it is 12.30. Children are all asleep. Dad is driving, getting us home safely once again. And we're gonna end it here. So thanks for watching.
watching, you guys. Um, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. All that fun stuff. Be the good, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Like the base is like the the base is like the base is like the the base is like the base like the the Oh, it smells so good. I'm cheating. I'm using. Okay. This is what it says it looks like. Holy crap. Dean, go to the fan. Go to the fan. The fan isn't doing its job.